Let's look at how to create a database from Excel files. You are given four Excel spreadsheet that captures different aspects of a coffee store. It includes the various markets, where it is operating at different area codes, the different type of products, and they capture the sales from each store for various products for each month for two years. Now, what I will do is there are four Excel spreadsheets. You got to import them into Access Database and link them based on the primary key and foreign keys. So let's go ahead and import the four tables. It is important that you pull the uh, Excel spreadsheet in the right order. Let's say Excel, create data, Excel. You need to know where you have stored the files. So in this case, I've stored here. I'm going to pull up the product coffee, which uh, captures all the information about the various products they sell. Say open. Import the source data into a new table in the current database. That's what we want to do. Say OK. What it does is it takes the various columns in your Excel. It is in the particular worksheet called Prod Coffee. Show worksheet. So the first row contains the attribute names. And these are the various columns. Product ID, product, product line, product type, and what type of coffee is it, regular or decaf? Say next. So the first row contains column headings. So it takes them and makes them into column heading. Say next. Here, it's asking you what type of data it is. So product ID, data type is double. No, it's not double, it's just an integer. So we'll pick integer. It can be indexed. So product ID for each product, it has a different index. Yes, but you don't want duplicates, so yes, no duplicates. Say the next. It says let access add primary key you don't want. We already have a primary key which is product ID. Let's say choose my own primary key which is product ID. Say next. Import a table prod coffee. You can ch choose to save this whole import, it records it. In this case, we don't care about it, say finish, say close. So if you go back and look at this particular table, Prod Coffee, you see it has been imported. And if you go back and look at the uh, table properties, sorry, uh, if you go back and right click and say design view, you can see the product ID is a number, product, product line, product type in type or text. If you want, you can go back and change this. But if you change it such a way that the existing data gets affected, it will warn you. So let's do the same thing with the other tables. Say Excel again, browse. I want to pick uh, the uh, area coffee, say open. Okay, so it has the area code and which state it belongs to. Say next. First row contains the column headings. Next. So the area code is not a double, so it is an integer. Then duplicate, the area code can be only shown once, no duplicates. Click on the state ID, so it's not a double. You can Say it's a long integer, which can take a large integer number. Say next. You don't want to add your own, uh, uh, it doesn't want to, to add the primary key. Let's pick our own, which is the area code. Say next. Basically, each state has a multiple area codes. Say next. Import to table, and let's call it um, uh, area code. Finish. So now you see the area code being represented here. Let's do the same for state coffee. Say open. 
read the instructions, say OK. So you have one, two, three, four. Basically, it says which state ID, what is the state name, the type of market, and the size of the market. Say next. First row contains column headings. Next. So for each one, you can go ahead. Now state ID, we said it's an integer, the long integer. Make sure you put a save so that we can link it to, uh, later on. Indexed, duplicate. No, we don't want duplicates here. There should be only one state ID. State is a text. Market is also a text. Market size is also a text. Say next. We'll already have a primary key which is state ID. So it picks the state ID. Say next. So you can say state and finish. So the last one, we go and import the fact which has fact coffee, which has all the information about the sales and so on for by product, by each state, by area code. Say open. Import the source data into a new table in the current database. Yes, say OK. It picks up the various columns. Like before, say next. First row contains column headings. Say next. So now in this case, the product ID for various product ID for various area code and date. A combination of product ID, area code and date, it provides all types of information. The inventory, the budgeted sales, margin, cost of goods sold. That is what we call COGS, cost of goods sold. The budget profit, sales, margin and so on. Say next. So let's say no primary key and we'll see why. Say next. And this is your fact coffee table. Say finish. So for consistency sake, I'm going to rename the state as well. Rename and I'll call it state coffee. Now, if you go back and look at this various tables, right click, design view, you see area code to be the primary key, which is fine. Let's go to the prod coffee, design view, product ID is your primary key, which is already we selected that. Likewise, state coffee, design view, you have state ID to be your primary key. Now, if you go back to fact coffee, right click and design view, you want to pick the primary key. In this case, the primary keys are product ID, area code and date as a combination. All three together defines uniquely each row. So in this case, select all three and hit primary key. So the combination of all these three will never be repeated in the database. Say OK, save yes. So now we have created all these four tables. We have defined the primary key, but we have not done the foreign key yet. So let's go to database tools, relationship. You can individually select or highlight all four, say add. So I'm going to bring the state ID here. So clearly we see this state ID in area code should refer to the state ID here. So for every state ID, you can have many area codes. So I'm going to drag the state ID and drop on the state ID. And I'll ref enforce referential integrity. It's your choice to make it cascade, update, or delete. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is. So for every one state ID, you can have multiple area codes. Okay. Now, this area code that you have is linked to this area code. Enforce, say create. So we got an error here. The relationship must be in the same number of fields, the same data type. Say OK. So obviously we are, if you try to create it, it gives you an error, which means in this case, 
the area code in area in this table and the area code in the fact coffee are different that's why it's giving you trouble so let's go back and look at this fact coffee design view and look at area code it's an integer which is double that's not correct so let's go back and make it into an integer say yes so it says the setting of the field size property of one or more fields has been changed to a shorter size if data is lost validation rules may be violated as a result do you want to continue let's say no for now let's go back and look at what we had in area code design view if you go back and look at area code it's an integer so we should be fine with an integer so let's go back and say area code and integer here and save it say yes say yes so luckily nothing has changed so now we go back and click this area code and link it to this area code here and force it works magically so whenever you get an error something like that maybe the data type of the area code in these two tables may be wrong so you go ahead and fix it this product id refers to the product id in the product coffee let's drag it and drop it here enforce referential integrity create the relationship we have the same number of fields with the same data type we get the same error let's go back and see where the problem is let's go back and see prod coffee design view the product id is a number it's an integer let's look at this product id in the fact coffee table so product id is a double so we made a mistake in the beginning so let's go back and change it to an integer so the data type is are the same now in the two tables say yes now go back and drag the product id and this product id and enforce it it should work so what does it mean for one product id there can be many entries in the fact table now what are this fact table it captures all the information about what is our budget sales margin cost of goods sold expected profit and these are all actual sales margin the actual cost of goods sold profit expenses and marketing so we now have all the data in these tables we have so we are going to use this particular database if you go to the fact coffee that has all the information per actually it's each day for 2 years it has 4248 records so we are going to use this particular set of uh, tables for in class uh, work as well as for your assignments